Hello everyone, and welcome to a short video on how you can tell the sex of your neon tetra fish. Either because you want to breed them, or you're looking to pair them off, or perhaps you're just curious about the makeup of your school. Well, neon tetras can be sexed fairly easily from the age of about 5 months when they start to reach sexual maturity. When they're still fry, it is practically impossible to tell them apart, which is why if you're buying a school with the intention to breed them, you really should get adults if at all possible, and if not, aim to buy at least six fish so that it's highly likely you're going to get both genders. Adult neons do show sexual dimorphism, but will take practice to know what to look for, as both are brightly coloured and they are almost exactly the same size. Males, though, are slightly longer than females, and they have a more streamlined shape to them, as they don't have a pronounced or rounded abdomen even after they've eaten a large meal. Females, on the other hand, always have a much deeper chest to them, they're much more rounded around their abdomen and especially after they've eaten, or just before they're ready to lay eggs, and this difference is particularly pronounced when you're viewing your fish from above. Both males and females have the blue stripe that gives the species their common name, but in males this is much straighter. Both have a slight wave in the line about halfway along, but in females the bend is more pronounced as it goes over the rounded abdomen, and it has a slight blurring effect where the line kinks. Males on the other hand have a much sharper line, and this in turn helps them to look longer and more streamlined. Neons show very little difference in behaviour between the genders. Both males and females will squabble harmlessly between themselves, usually over status or position within the school, and both are equally likely to be bold and curious when they're in your tank. Males will actively fight and chase each other though when females are ready to spawn, and this is usually first thing in the morning. Females which are not ready to spawn at the moment and are being bothered by the males at the time will attack them just to warm them off a bit, whereas receptive females will let the males bustle around them as they go about looking for somewhere to spawn. As they are schooling fish, neons have no differences at all between how males and females should be kept. They will live very happily alongside each other without showing any tendencies to bully or harass each other, although if you are looking to breed, it's better to have slightly more males than females, as it's the male who entices the female to spawn. Anywho, I hope this little video helps you tell the gender of your neon tetra fish. Happy fish keeping everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!